Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on top 10 DevOps tools. Do you know friends that DevOps is a set of cultural ideas, practices and tools that improves an organization's capacity to provide application and services at high velocity, changing and enhancing products at a faster rate than a traditional software development cycle. This speed allows firms to better service their clients and compete in the market. So without further ado friends, let's discuss today's top 10 DevOps tools. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. First, we are going to have a little bit introduction about DevOps. Then, we are going to discuss about Git. Moving further, we are going to learn about Slack. Next, we are going to learn about Jenkins. Then, we are going to learn about Dockers. Then we will discuss about Phantom. Moving ahead, we are going to discuss about Nagios. Then we are going to learn about Vagrant. Then we are going to discuss about Ansible. Next, we are going to have little bit idea about Sentry. So at the end, we are going to discuss about Bitbucket. Development and operation teams are no longer CLOs in a DevOps architecture. These two teams sometimes combined into a single teams in which the engineers work across the whole application lifecycle from development and testing to deployment and operations and develop a diverse set of skills that are not limited to a particular role. Quality assurance and security teams may become more closely linked with the development and operations teams throughout the application lifecycle in various DevOps model. While everyone is focused on security in a DevOps team, this is referred to as DevSecOps. These teams employ strategies to automate activities that were previously manual and time consuming. They employ a technological stack and tools that enable them to operate and evolve apps in a timely and dependable manner. These solutions also enable engineers to complete tasks autonomously, for example, deploying code or supplying infrastructure that would otherwise require assistance from other team and increasing steam pace. So let's discuss our first tool that is called as Git. Git is a free and open source distributed version control system designed to manage everything from tiny to extremely large projects with speed and efficiency. Git is simple to use and has a small footprint that performs extremely quickly. It outperforms SCM solutions like its Subversion, CVS, Perforce and Clearbase with features like low-cost branching, local branching, handy staging areas and numerous other processes. Git is a tool for tracking changes to source code. The distributed version control technology is used to manage source code. It enables numerous developers to collaborate. It encourages non-linear development due to its thousands of parallel branches. Now let's discuss our next tool, Slack. Slack, which was launched in 2013, is still one of the top communication tools used by teams for effective project collaboration. This DevOps tool is used by technical organizations all around the world to break down boundaries and provide all team members with clear understanding of the workflow. Slack has an innovative feature that allows developers to work utilizing tool chains in the same environment where they communicate with other maintenance and service staff. Slack is basically a messaging platform for business or teams. You may effortlessly manage your day-to-day -day communications by creating several channels thanks to its workspaces feature. Slack's robust APIs enable integrations with wide range of apps. Now let's discuss about Jenkins. Jenkins, an open source continuous integration server that automates the entire software project build cycle. The pipeline functionality provided by this tool allows developers to automatically commit code to the repository, execute test cases and retrieve reports obtained after testing. This extremely customizable tool provides fast feedback and will alert you if a specific sprint is causing a broken build or damaging it. The majority of SDLC tasks and tools may be automated using Jenkins, allowing team members to boost their true output. 
Jenkins has gained continuous delivery and deployment capabilities over time. The process of automating the creation and packaging of code for eventual deployment to test, production, staging, and production environment is known as continuous delivery. The last phase of distributing code to its final destination is automated by continuous deployment. Because the necessary methods and the best practices are encoded into Jenkins automation decreases the number of errors that occurs in both scenarios. Now let's discuss about Dockers. Docker is a tool at the heart of containerization, a movement that is rapidly gaining attraction in the IT world. Dockers enables safe application packaging, deployment and execution regardless of the running environment. Every application container contains a source code supporting files, runtime, system configuration file and other files required for program execution. The Docker engine can be used to access containers which can then execute programs in a remote environment. The app has enabled organizations to save money on infrastructure. According to one research, two out of every three organizations that tried this application embraced it within 30 days of utilizing it. Docker is a technology or a platform designed to make the process of designing, deploying, packaging and distributing applications as well as its components such as libraries and other dependencies easier. Its major goal is to automate Linux application deployment and operating system level virtualization. It enables numerous containers to run on the same hardware resulting in increased productivity while keeping segregated programs and simplifying seamless configuration. Docker has number of advantages and few of them are high return on investments and cost saving, standardization and productivity, upkeeping and compatibility. There is about rapid implementation and configurations that are faster. It is effortlessly portable. There is testing and deployment in the real time and security isolation and segregation. Now let's discuss about Phantom. One of the primary considerations of every DevOps team is software application security. As a result, the Phantom tool is extremely useful for developers who want to establish a secure infrastructure from the start of the SDLC. Splunk Phantom is a system for security orchestration, automation, and response. The Splunk Phantom platform combines security infrastructure, orchestration, playbook automation, and case management capabilities to help you coordinate security flows automate repetitive security operations and respond to threats rapidly. Using Phantom tool, you may work in a centralized environment on an incident while also being alert of emerging security dangers. This technology allows DevOps workers to instantly minimize such threats such as employing tactics such as file detonation, device quarantine and there are so and so forth. Let's discuss about Nagios. Nagios, like Phantom, is a monitoring tool that keeps tracks on your apps, servers, and overall company infrastructure. The program is quite useful for large enterprises with huge number of circuitry such as router, servers, switches, etc. At the backend, it notifies users whenever a certain issue happens on the backend or if any devices fail. It also keeps a performance chart and checks trends on regular basis to warn the users of any potential failures. Nagios is often run on a server such as daemon or service. It executes plugins on the same servers on a regular basis and they communicate with hosts or servers on a network or the internet. The web interface can be used to view status information. If something happens, you can receive email or SMS notifications. The Nagios daemon functions a scheduler executing scripts at a specific times. It saves the result of those scripts and runs other scripts if they change. Now let's discuss about Vagrant. A Vagrant is a tool that allows you to manage and operate with virtual machines in a single workflow. Team members can use Vagrant to share software running environments and test apps more quickly without wasting time such as setting up configurations. The program ensures that the environment for a specific project remains consistent 
across every developer's PC and the run on my system. Excuse the throw out window. The cost of addressing a defect grows exponentially closer to production. Vagrant tries to replicate production settings by offering the same operating system, packages, users and configurations, while allowing the users to use their preferred editor, IDE and browser. Vagrant also interfaces with your existing configuration management tools such as Ansible, Chef, Docker, Puppet or Salt, allowing you to use the same script to set up Vagrant as production. Now let's discuss about Ansible. Ansible is a radically simple IT automation tool that makes it easier to deploy and maintain your applications and systems. Use SSH to automate anything from code deployment to network configurations to cloud management in a language that is close to plain English with no agents to install on distant computers. Ansible assists the management of numerous machines by allowing users to select elements of Ansible inventory maintained in simple ASCII text files. The inventory is customizable and target machine inventory in various formats can be sourced dynamically or via cloud-based sources. Since 2014, sensitive data can be stored in encrypted files using Ansible Vault. Unlike other popular configuration management technologies like Chef, Puppet, Salt and CFE Engine, Ansible has an agentless design with Ansible software not typically running on even installed on the managed code, Ansible instead orchestrates a node by installing a temporarily running modules on the node through SSH. During an orchestration job, a process running the module uses a JSON based protocol to connect with the controlling machine via its standard input and output. Now let's discuss about Sentry. Sentry is a DevOps tool used by the enterprises such as Uber and Microsoft for mistakes or defect detection. This free tool supports languages such as Ruby, iOS, JavaScript and many others. And it also includes SDKs that may be customized to support the majority of languages and frameworks. The program continuously searches lines of code throughout the system and gives notification if it discovers an issue or a problem. Not only does it highlight the issue, but also provides a list of suggested solutions that may be implemented within a single click. Now, let's discuss about the Bitbucket. Bitbucket is just like a GitHub. It is a solution for managing project code throughout the software development cycle. While the GitHub remains the most popular repository, many are flocking to Bitbucket due to its lower cost and private repository feature a feature only available in the paid variant of GitHub. While the core functionality of Bitbucket is similar to that of GitHub, features such as easy interaction with Jira and Trello, as well as a built-in CI-CD functionality to give its Atlassian solution an advantage. So these are top 10 DevOps tools that are increasingly being used by businesses throughout the world. If you believe there are any better tools that we have overlooked, please let us know in the comments. That was all for today's session. Hope you would have got some idea regarding the top 10 DevOps tools. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.